Right now, the Waco community is rallying to save and maintain a local dog park. Fox 44's Cameron Stewart is live in the studio tonight after talking to one of the people behind the social media effort. Cameron, what do they have planned? Noelle, the HOT dog park is the only off-leash dog park in the area. And after it almost got closed at the beginning of the year, a Facebook group is raising money to make sure it is still a pillar for the dog community for years to come. And it's not even for us as humans, it's for our dogs. It, it's for the love and the caring and the passion that we have for these animals. It's to give them somewhere to play and to enjoy themselves too. The HOT dog park in Waco nearly closed its doors for good in January. The veterinarian who owned the practice next door to the park retired and threatened to close the park if community members didn't pitch in to help maintain it. Concerned dog owners created a Facebook group to keep the park open. I was actually one of the first members that came into the dog park group itself and being able to see that grow from like five or ten up to I think it's like 520 something people in the group now. It's so amazing to see that that's how many people actually use this park and come to this park. The group started a GoFundMe Friday to raise money to maintain the grounds and put in amenities like new benches and dog waste dispensers. They say they struggled to land sponsorships since they are not a nonprofit organization. Organization. When it's a group that's tight knit, you can say, okay, hey, friends, this is what we need to do. But when it's people you never know and you're trying to reach out, you've got to have some like bond or something to be able to pull us all together. And these dogs having this option to be able to sit here and play and not worry about anything, that's our bond that's pulling us all together. That's making us the community that we are. For these park goers, letting it wither away is not an option. If this park was to close and we didn't have anything to put in its spot, there would be a lot of issues, I think, because it's part of their their mental health is to be able to have this exercise, this, this fun, this, this free space for them to go and enjoy themselves. The group hopes to reach $2,000. You can find a link to the GoFundMe page on our website at fox44news.com. In the studio, Cameron Stewart, Fox 44 News.